Hello dear friend and welcome. Welcome to listening to Nino Bravo, it's a bittersweet pleasure for Spanish music enthusiasts, as enjoying his beautiful songs inevitably brings sadness when remembering the tragic circumstances of his death, his young age, and all the future he had ahead. Nino Bravo was born on August 3, 1944, in Aiello de Malfred, a small town in the province of Valencia, Spain. He spent his childhood in the Valencia region, where he grew up and developed his musical talent. His hometown and its surroundings played a significant role in his life and career, as it was where he began to get involved in music and perfected his impressive voice. On April 16, 1973, the music world lost one of its most prominent figures, the Spanish singer Nino Bravo, who passed away unexpectedly when he was at the peak of his career and the prime of his life, at just 28 years old. He was known not only for his astonishing vocal power but also for his humility, work ethic, and shy, introverted nature. Perhaps it is for all these reasons that his story is so heartbreaking, as the tragedy in which he didn't survive is one of those terrible stories where everything that could go wrong did. On that fateful April 16th, accompanied by his friend and guitarist Josetso Aces Francis, they left Valencia for Madrid around 8 in the morning. The sumo duo, consisting of Fernando Romero and Miguel Say Oris, also joined them, the only group that Nino Bravo represented and produced through the brand company. Initially, they had planned to make the 350-kilometer journey by plane, but they changed their plans and decided to do it in Nino's white BMW, with Nino driving most of the way. His brother-in-law, Manu Martinez, who usually acted as his road manager, had other obligations that day. After about two hours of driving, the group stopped in the town of Motila del Palancar in Cuenca to rest and have breakfast. Around 10, they resumed their journey, but just 10 minutes before noon, in the town of Villarubio, the tragedy occurred. Nino was driving the car on kilometer 95 of the N3 road, which had a change in elevation in that section that hindered visibility and a left turn at the top. In the curve, Nino steered sharply to the left and then to the right, losing control of the car, which veered off the road, rolled several times, and ended up in a ditch. When the car finally came to a stop, the occupants, bruised and cut from the shattered glass, got out as best as they could and helped get Nino out, who had suffered the worst injuries. The singer was in pain and asked for help, although he wasn't fully conscious enough to hold a conversation. Almost immediately, Nino Bravo and the injured were assisted by people passing by and transported in several private vehicles to Tarancon, which was 13 kilometers away. At a small convent hospital in Tarancon, they received initial medical care. Then, using the only ambulance in the town, they were transferred to Madrid. Unfortunately, the convent hospital didn't have the necessary equipment to save Nino's life. Madrid was still about 80 kilometers away. When they were close to reaching the hospital, Nino Bravo lost his battle and passed away upon arrival at the Hospital Francisco Franco in Madrid, now known as the Gregorio Marañón Hospital. Of the four occupants of the vehicle, only Nino lost his life. The injuries of the others were relatively minor. It was speculated that Nino wasn't wearing his seatbelt, although in 1973, seatbelt use was not mandatory in Spain. The curve where the car went off the road had witnessed several accidents before, so it was redesigned to reduce its danger. Today, you can still see part of the original pavement at the site, where a monument and a cross were placed, becoming a pilgrimage site for fans of the singer who come from all over the world. This wasn't Nino Bravo's first road accident. Just a few months earlier, in November 1972, while traveling with his musicians in his Mercedes on the Valencia-Barcelona route, they had a serious accident. Although the car was completely wrecked, all occupants managed to survive. 
It was a terrible omen of what destiny had in store for him. Thousands of people attended Nino Bravo's funeral to bid him a final farewell. Amparo, who was pregnant at the time, led the funeral procession, visibly affected. Despite fears that her pregnancy might be affected, the situation didn't worsen, and a few months later, Eva, Nino Bravo's second daughter, was born. His firstborn, Maria Amparo, had been born nearly a year earlier. Nino Bravo's widow, Amparo Martinez Hill, never remarried, and although she dislikes appearing on television, she always appreciates the great affection the public has for Nino. <laughs> His daughters, Eva and Amparo, often appear in tributes and, alongside their mother, manage the rights and other matters related to the work of Luis Manuel, the artist's real name. As a singer, Nino Bravo is more alive than ever, and his powerful voice continues to resonate almost 50 years after his passing. Well, friends, this has been a tribute to Nino Bravo. Leave us a comment. What is your favorite song by this Spanish music legend? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you very soon with another video.